first of all, congratulate CMA for this award and for finding the right man for the award. <laughs> they should come up with the right because woman. Because I can... <laughs> I can tell you that uh, as uh, our team leader, we are very, very proud of him and uh, what he has done for this country. When you're talking about peace, uh, this country has known instability before. And uh, during some of our darkest days, particularly in 2007, 2008, uh, that is when he came out and uh, stood by President Mwai Kibaki, stabilized this country. So the peace we celebrated, then after that, he had something to do with it, and this country remembers him for that. And not just in this country, beyond our borders, in the Sudan, South Sudan, the role he has played in stabilizing the region, in bringing peace in the region, you couldn't have found a better person for this award. And we want to thank you for that, but also to congratulate uh, His Excellency uh, for his outstanding role as a mediator, as a peacemaker, and as a leader who has always uh, fought to bring the country together for all Kenyans to live in peace and harmony. So we are very proud today to celebrate this award. And the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, congratulations, and uh, we are very proud of you. Uh, but also to say what uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu once said, that uh, without justice, there can be no peace. Without peace, there can be no development. I want to share uh, the sentiments of His Excellency that indeed, even as we move forward, we must ensure that we do justice to ensure that our country is peaceful. What happened uh, last year and this year in terms of the demonstrations against the Finance Bill 2023 and the Finance Bill 2024 and the Gen Z's who were killed, their families are still crying out for justice. Perhaps today we might see the country is calm and think that our country is peaceful. Indeed, it might just be the calm before the storm, especially with the plans of this broad-based government to bring back the 2024 Finance Bill. We did tell them last year that please drop this Finance Bill. They did not listen to us, and it costed lives. 75 died last year, over 60 died this year, and bringing back this Finance Bill is like bringing back the storm that caused bloodshed. And as we celebrate uh, this peacemaker, we want to reach out to the broad-based government to tell them not to provoke the wrath of the Gen Z's to come back to the streets, but also to do justice for the families who lost their dear ones. And that we will fight for even as we celebrate this award. Perhaps uh, maybe I would invite uh, Governor Waititi and one or two colleagues to also congratulate our leader, but to assure the country that even as we move forward, we will continue fighting for peace and for justice for our fellow Kenyans. Karibu, Governor Salimi. Upongeze kiongozi wetu. I also take this opportunity to congratulate uh, the 